What up, YouTube? Welcome back for another video on this beautiful day out here. Sitting out here, man, and you know me. I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos. I'm into YouTube. You know, I love YouTube. But a lot of things I hear people talking about is how how the meat is these days. And, you know, with a lot of food shortages going on and everything, we already know that there's some things you gonna ain't going to be able to get in the grocery store in the uh, wintertime, fall, whenever they say it. So, stop worrying about meat. Stop worrying about meat. You got vegetables. You got meat in your garden and you don't know it. You don't know it. It's a bunch of vegetables that can be used as meat substitutes. If you ever go to a vegan restaurant, then they got all kind of uh, vegan dishes that are made out of vegetables. Most vegetables that you grow in your backyard. But it it takes a little thinking to know, don't need meat, I can use vegan meat. Does it taste the same? No, of course it don't. But if push come to shove, I'm gonna have an eggplant patty instead of no uh, hamburger, you know what I mean? So these are the top five vegetables you can use as a meat substitute. Number one, mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms have a very meaty texture and mushrooms are delicious, delicious. But they can also be used as a meat substitute in uh, dishes like uh, vegan spaghetti. I've had vegan spaghetti. It's delicious. So. If you ever run out of ground beef or whatever, get you some mushrooms, chop it up, and you can have spaghetti. Don't worry about it, you're good. Eggplants. Um, eggplants are super versatile. You can, use, you can make burger patties and vegan meatballs out of eggplants. Everybody growing eggplants. Did you know you had meatballs and uh, burger patties in your backyard? Yeah, you. You right there. You are growing burger patties and beans. Meatballs. You can use beans for stews and soups as a meat substitute. You don't need meat for a soup. Get you some beans. Everybody growing beans, all kind of beans. Beans are hearty. They stick to your ribs. You don't need meat for everything. Try some beans. The next one is lentil. Lentil can, can be used to replace ground beef or ground pork. Um, burgers, meatballs, and filling for tacos. Now let me tell you something. I've had uh, lentil tacos. I like vegan restaurants. So I've had lentil, lentil tacos. God darn delicious. God darn delicious. You gotta try. And it kind of looked like ground beef. Right. Number five, buffalo wings. Yes, cauliflower, you can make buffalo wings if you season it right. So all in all, if you want meat, you got meat. It might not be the meat you want, but it might be the meat to fill you up. Now we just talked about uh, all the great things you can do with beans. Well, let's pick some then. Oh yeah. Now I did a little reading up on this to make sure. Now these are striped beans, so they should be firm where you can feel the uh, pods in there but not too big. So I think that's the perfect size right there. And she loaded with beans. She got them everywhere. And more flowers coming on. To me, these striped beans are one of the most prolific beans you can grow. And you know, take that with a grain of salt. I ain't been growing for about two and a half, two years. But from what I've seen, I've grown black eyed peas and other different beans. So that's my opinion though. But we're gonna pick up, pick all these. I'm gonna fill the freezer. Look at that, that's one plant so far. That you don't oh, got one more. 
Yeah, let's get inside there. And you really got to look at it because the beans look like the limb. Y'all seen them move? I see some small ones on there, but we ain't worried about small ones. Now that's just one plant, y'all. One plant. And they don't grow up so much. It's hard for me to get the camera in there. Y'all see the bean? There it goes. Get out the way. Look at that. Ooh. Get all these. These little beans be high. But I'm hungry, so I'm finna find them all. two plants I'm trying not to step on my watermelon plants and cantaloupe plants how about I sit y'all on the inside of it so y'all can keep with me That's all of them. All right, let's go to the next one. Ooh, ooh, jackpot. Jackpot. No bean left behind. If it's big enough, it's going. on the smaller side we'll leave them behind yeah those on the smaller side um is that the last plant i think it is <laughs> 